Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing the super fun, perfect makeup tag created by the stunning, gorgeous, glorious combination of Patty Alonso and Morgan Turner, two of my absolute favorite babes on the YouTube space. Absolutely glorious women, both of them. And so I am mega excited to join in with their fabulous tag. So without further ado, let's get on to these questions. First up, which primer creates the perfect base? You already know what I'm going to say. It's the silk canvas from Tatcha. I don't care whether it's the cream, I don't care if it's the liquid, that's the answer. Okay, and you can't tell me otherwise. You can't tell me I'm wrong because I'm not wrong. That is it for me. It's flawless, it's hydrating, it's smoothing, it's refining, it's just gorgeous. It's just exactly the only thing I want from a primer. I want it to, in theory, help my makeup last more beautifully, because, but then at the same time, I don't wear my makeup. I don't like, I'm not a nurse working, you know, a 24 hour shift or anything bonkers. I'm happy with a solid six to eight hours most of the time, but I don't want it to completely bodge up my makeup either. But for me, the priority is it being a smooth, flawless base and everything going on top of it gorgeously. And that for me is what the Silk Canvas does every time without fail never let me down. Question two, which foundation has the perfect finish? I feel like you probably also know what I'm going to say to this question and it is of course the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate foundation. It's the foundation I have on today and I mean this finish. I mean it's just it's it, perfect. It's the perfect makeup tag. So of course it's the perfect finish. It's just flawless for me. I feel like it's so healthy, luminous, fresh, plump, stunningly gorgeous, like angels rain down on you sort of thing, you know, not to take it too far. But for me, it's perfect. It's everything I look for and want in a foundation finish. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I don't know why I thought I wanted to sit here in a jacket, it's just so uncomfortable. Question three, which concealer has the perfect coverage? I mean, I think you're gonna know all the answers. This is the most pointless video I think I've ever done. No offense to the creators, but in my house where I'm so super predictable and boring, everybody always knows the answers to these. I don't know, maybe we could turn it into a fun drinking game or something where, you know, you drink a cup of tea or something else of your choice every time you get it, an answer right. Because otherwise, frankly, we're all just sitting here saying the answers together, aren't we? So question three, which concealer has the perfect coverage? Hello, it's obviously this one. It's the Pat McGrath. It's the only concealer that covers everything, every last smudge of darkness up in my under eye zone. It's the only one that does it without grave repercussions somewhere else down the line. So the Too Faced Born This Way also pretty much covers everything, but it is quite heavy and looks a bit drying and aging under there. The Huda Beauty that I used to love covers everything, but it now creases on me now that I have aged several decades. It creases terribly. So yeah, that's the one that covers it all without like some other terrible drawback from that coverage. Number four, which powder gives the perfect blur? You'll never guess, you'll never guess this one. It's the Pat McGrath Under Eye Blurring Powder. You didn't know, did you? Yeah, okay, you did, of course you did. Ridiculous. You know how I feel about this powder. I mean, it's called the blurring powder, so hello. Facts, there it is, it's in there, in the name. This one for me changed the game. It changed my under eye game. It took it from, you know, being okay. I'd found some concealers I liked, but this powder on top of the Pat McGrath, I mean, on top of any concealer, but that combination, blurred, like blurry town. Blurred, like so blurred, you can't even see it. Like just, you think there's something wrong with your eyes. That's how blurred it is. 
it's smooth, it's perfected, it's like, it doesn't look like powder, it's the only one I ever want under there ever again. We're just really whizzing through this today. We're there, we're rapid, we're not wasting time, we're not hanging around, we're just answering the questions as though we're being timed. Are we being timed? Is there a prize for finishing this the quickest? Because I think we might be in line for that, or at least getting on the podium. Question five, which bronzer has the perfect undertone? For me, undertone, when we're just, we're just looking at the undertone, it's the Charlotte Tilbury in the shade tan. Can you see, this for me does that, I like a red undertone, because that's kind of the colour that my skin tans. And this one matches like my natural tan, like no other. Like, like no other. And it works in winter and summer. I feel like, I like, I don't mind a sort of more neutral bronzer in winter, that looks okay on me. In summer, it looks bonkers and gray. Whereas the redder undertone works for me year round and this one nails that undertone like no other. You can see it, how red it looks. And that's why it's probably possibly my favorite or certainly one of, it just has that red undertone like it nails it without it being orange. It's it's warm, but it's not orange warm. You know, it's reddish brown warm instead, which I, I, I prefer. I feel like my lipstick's a bit fey from Love Island today, which is concerning. Question six, which blush has the perfect shade? Now at this point, I will say, I realize a whole lot of the answers to these questions is Pat McGrath. And I did consider, try, well, I tried to think of other brands to replace all of the Pat McGrath answers that I found myself saying all the time but then I just felt like I'd be lying to you so I decided to just give you the true answers regardless of the fact that this is like a Pat McGrath an ode to Pat McGrath this video and I can only apologize for that but those are my honest answers I'm afraid I'm really sorry about it it's Desert Orchid I just there were a few I thought about in here. The blush I have on today is Bellini from Laura Mercier. That's up there with my favorite colors, um, as is Nars's Taj Mahal, as are lots of blushes that come from palettes, but I wanted to choose a single. And ultimately, this is it. This is my favorite color. Like I said, I kind of really wanted to include a, lot, a different brand, a Laura Mercier, a Nars, something that wasn't Pat McGrath, but I couldn't do it, I couldn't lie to you. This is... This is the perfect shade. I think the thing with Bellini, why I went for this one instead, is Bellini just is that hair more peachy. You know, Desert Orchid, although it, it is in theory slightly peachy, it's, a, it's more of a neutral brownie peach, whereas Bellini is categorically a peachier blush and it's a subtle peach but you I mean the peach is peachy the peach is there you can't there's no getting away from it it is and this one it just it's you can wear this with any colors any makeup look and it's always perfect it always finishes the look it never battles with anything it's the perfect understated shade for every single occasion makeup look color etc that's that's all she wrote that is the entire answer Question seven, which highlighter has the perfect finish? You already know what I'm gonna say, don't you? You know what I'm gonna say. It's the Pat McGrath Divine Rose. By the way, this isn't sponsored. Pat doesn't even know who I am, okay? So this is just, obviously I have a problem with Pat McGrath and I've, yeah, I need to work on that. I need to branch out more, be a bit more adventurous perhaps. But this is the highlight I'm wearing today and the finish for me it's it's literally it is perfect i mean that is another word we could drink every time i say in this video the perfect it's the perfect makeup tag okay it's not my fault that's what the video is called but this is just it blended out this is the most soft subtle smooth glow it's the perfect amount of luminosity that I like, that I want from my highlight. It looks glowy and gorgeous and pretty and fresh without ever being too much, without ever looking highlighty like metallic glitter, highlighting texture, anything like that. It's smooth as silk. It's just everything. I just think it's so smooth and gorgeous 
and soft and pretty and luminous like a candlelight flickering on a wall over the fireplace. Come on, Charlotte, we were trying to do this quickly. Stop with the metaphors. Although actually, to be correct, that was a simile. You can tell who's been homeschooling for the last two years. Eight, and it's not a Pat McGrath answer. Which lipstick has the perfect formula? There were so many options here. There were so many options. I could have said Pat McGrath. I could have. I won't lie to you. I could have said her mattes. I love them. They're great. I could have said the Huda Beauty Glow Creams. Love them. Great. Fabulous. I could have said Charlotte Tilbury. Of course. Glorious. I could have said others that I've forgotten. But what I am going to say is Lisa Eldridge. Now, I don't really mind whether we say her mats or we say her luxuriously lucents because they're both glorious. Her mats are like possibly maybe my favourite bullet matte formula bar none. I think they are. I'm just trying to decide in my head whether Pat or Lisa would win the mats. And I think Lisa would, to be honest. I think her shade range as well trumps it slightly for me because they're just amazing. But her luxuriously lucent, I live for it. I feel like it's the more underrated formula because everyone was just so shook by her mats. But her luxuriously lucents are more me. You know, they're a sort of build up, buildable, sheer, shiny, glossy finish. I live for that. That's like my, my kind of thing. That's my cup of tea. That tickles my pickle. I live for them. And I love that they're like customizable. You can just literally put one little layer and it's just like a blushed lip, or you can really build it up and you can get a pop, a pop of color. I think the shade range is incredible, but the formula is gorgeous. It's so comfortable. It feels so nice on the lips. They're gorgeous to apply. And I just love how they're so easygoing. And you, again, a perfect handbag lipstick. I just, I love them. And that's my type of lipstick. I'm not really a matte girl. You know that word is a four letter word in this house. We just leave the E off the end. So it's a four letter word. We're not big fans of the matte word around here, around these parts, but lipsticks, you know, they have their place, a matte lipstick that definitely has its place. And, but I'm always gonna be a glossy, glowy, luminous kind of girl. So therefore the luxuriously loosened edges it for me. I just, they're gorgeous. They're luxuriously loosened, in fact. Number nine, and I'm afraid we're going back to Pat. But who can blame me? Number nine, which palette has the perfect shimmers? I mean, I just don't think there's any possible way the answer to this question could not be Pat McGrath. The perfect shimmers, I just don't, like, I can't get past Pat's shimmers. I didn't even, for me, this was about which palette rather than which brand. It was always gonna be Pat. They are my favorite shimmers. And another very predictable answer, I'm afraid. I really need to mix things up around here. But this one, I mean, I think the reason I had to choose this because, was because not only like the best formula, but the options in here just trump it for me. You've got soft, pretty, gorgeous shimmers. Like the, these two are just soft as anything and, you know, very daytime friendly, lovely, pretty little things. You've got this number down here that who knows what's going on. Is she pink? Is she purple? Is she green? When I swiped that, to me, it looked absolutely green. See that? That's what I saw when I when I swatched that. And that's what you saw. I mean, it's, it's mind blowing. What's happening? What kind of trickery and sorcery is in here? And then you've got this, oh, I mean, this sparkle. Come on. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? The shimmers in here, you've got options. You've got metallics, you've got shimmers, you've got astrals, you've got kind of like 
satins or more muted shimmers you've just got every kind of shimmer you could kind of want and the colors are gorgeous and they work together so beautifully and they're just absolutely stunning i love to layer them as well i find that super fun with pat's um shimmers especially by putting you know the astral shade on top of the other shimmers you can totally change the color and the effect and i just think they are the best of the best of the best and last but not least, question number 10, which palette has the perfect colour story? And here's where I make up for all of my other answers, being really boring and predictable and expected and repetitive, okay? So I can only apologise about the first nine answers. They are what they are. But question 10, uh, not one of you is going to get this right. I'm going to, I'll say that now. That's what I'm going to say. I'm bold, I'm throwing it out there. No one is gonna expect this answer for me. And the reason why this answer is so unexpected is because I'm going off of the full question here. Which palette has the perfect color story? My answer is Zendo from Natasha Denona. Now do not lie to me and tell me you saw that one coming because that's a lie and you know it. We both know it. We all know it. No one saw this coming, okay? Hear me out. This is not one of my favourite palettes. I like it. I don't love it. But I do love the colour story and that's what the question is. It's not which is your favourite palette. It's not which is the best palette ever. It's not which palette is the one that you reach for the most. It's which is the perfect colour story. And this, when I saw the picture of this, I my heart was like a thumping, okay? And if this formula had been like Natasha's ultimate shimmer formulas. Like imagine this palette, but all of these shimmers are like off the scale, stunning metallics, super blingy, or even just if a few of them, say say the one, two, three, four shimmers were like, and this one, five. Say if five of the shimmers in the palette were stunning, gorgeous, glorious, super impactful shimmers, this would have been a different story. I think this palette was, for a lot of people, quite underwhelming because the shimmers just weren't there. They weren't what we were expecting. They were super, super soft and therefore for lots of us, a little disappointing. But when it comes to this colour story, I just think it's heavenly. I think it's amazing. It's got the perfect number of mattes to shimmers. For me, that I like plenty of mattes, plenty of shimmers. It's got, you know, inner corner options. It's got cool and warm. It's got soft everyday natural looks and colour in the perfect amounts that I like and it's got some very easy simple combos it's got everything I could possibly want but the formula is slightly disappointing I do just feel like if the shimmers were like amped way way up this would have been like one of lots of people's favourite ever palettes. But unfortunately, the formula is slightly disappointing when it comes to the shimmers. So for that reason, it's not a favourite. But I do really love the colour story. And I think Natasha's colour stories in general are like phenomenal and like the best there are. I could have also said Bieber, although that's like super boring, I understand. But as far as doing that colour story, that like natural, nude, soft, glam colour story, I, I beg of you to find a better colour story than Bieber. So that's my reserve answer, even though no one asked. So there you have it. Those are my 10 answers to these perfect makeup tag questions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.